the circumcision. We worship God in spirit. Not in the flesh. To be bringing sounds from heaven. And yet we are bringing those sounds in the gyration of demonic spirits. Come on, don't stop now. Lift up your voice and pray. Don't stop now. Don't get tired now. Lift up your voice. Come on. RCM worry. Let me hear your voice. Lift up your voice. Cry to Jesus. Cry to Jesus. Take a posture of prayer and sustain the posture. Technica, can you help me? Give me voice. Lift up your voice. Cry to Jesus for two minutes. Let your voice be heard. Let your voice be heard. The Bible said concerning Jesus, he offered prayers. He offered supplications with strong cries and groanings. Can you make an offering of prayer tonight unto Jesus? Make an offering of prayer. Look away from the person by your side and take a posture and sustain the posture of prayer. Jesus, it is unto you that we come. Unto you that answers prayer shall all flesh come. He did not call the seeds of Jacob to seek him in vain. We take a posture of surrender. We take a posture of insufficiency. Cry to Jesus. Cry to Jesus. Cry to Jesus. They looked unto him and they were not ashamed and their faces were radiant. Sambra kai kopes kiva laita branda kaporia zede kabronte saita broka vevelinta raita breda kaporia sanze lega brata baporia ntala ete komba raita baponde saita belega zai toberia kabamoria tele sata ba rede kabranta babanta skafe da balate bera kabapori. Lift up your voice. Let me hear you pray without the sound. You can come later. Let me hear you. Lift up your voice. Saita barako brina sante belegai. Seila gavrante so saita bore. I come elan tole gavrata balantola gavrata balaito belegata. Rete brata baporiata kapapa. Raka brata balai kapaporiata balata. Reke brida kapalata branta balatua. Akam bapora tele kapatua. Rete kapaporiata babapaya. I kam pola seta balaita boru. I brida kapamporia taba balatua. Rete kabrada balaka badatori. Da kapatoli kapapa rata saita braka badato aita pa ya tapapa ya rata baka borota bapedia raita braka bananta barata balato rata kabranta balaka badata ya we cry for help we cry for mercy apeta patwa kapetwa rata kabranta baporia rata kapata tata tapa rata aika brata bata koria ato da kapate ya rata Kabrata baba batoya, rede kabate kabapa, rede kabrata bata kapori, ay kapatua, rede kas kabalai tapapa, rede kabrata kapapo, ay katoni ka, yate sata bapaya, ato takapepa, loka peni ata bapaya, ato tapapa takapapa, le kabrata balakato, ay kabrata basate, abro da kapetua, abro da kapetoria, it is Jesus that. We have come to seek a pote kapaya, a pote kapaya, a pote kapaya. Make an offering of prayer tonight. Le kabranta babate di, rate kabranta babarate kabaporia. Ready a sata babo, ready a kabapata ya, ready a kapote la katua. Ruate te ya, ruaka babate ya, ruaka beta kabapate de kapa. Rote sate babate, aboka bebe da kabar. Rata tata, la kapa tata kapa rata tata. 
overshadow you and that which will be born of you shall be the son of God If you can, you may want to grab the hand of the person by your side. Can we generate enough spiritual energy that will power this house tonight? Look for somebody by your side. Grab the hand of the person. Media, help me with sound. Help me with sound. Help me with sound. Saita bara kombre da kapelia, raka branda sande kapeni ka, rai kome bambolia tabara kobe vedi, avri da kombre kapambolia, raka branda bapone santa ba, raka branda bapone kapaporia, rete kapaporia, raka branda babasaila, rete kapranda balaka baporia. Increase your power, increase your prayer flames. Atedi akambro takate, leka saita ba. They looked unto him and they were not ashamed. O Capella, Sonte Cai, Loncasina, Atulia, Tele, O Quate, Vina, Candra Capo, Ite Montas, Cabellinta Branca, Lecasco de Lenta Branca Bapo, Ita Papa de la Cambrata Papaya, Loca Papaya, Aica Pantolia, Tapaporia, Acrata Campa, Apamporia, Cata, Aleca Sata Papa, Atata. Tataya, O Capenia Sa, I call Pesante, I call the Lea Tapaya, a Rade Cambra Tabalatoa. I mount up with wings like the eagles, for my eyes sees Jesus, a Bateria Capapa, Loa Catia, Loa Catia, Loa Catia. For when we see him, we shall become like he is. I Capatua, my eyes, they see Jesus, a Kaila. I catula, I catula, I catula, I capodia sata, le capatuliata, rete capapapo, rate branta papa, rate capoia, and to canto, canto cambatia, abate basaila capapa. We cry! Sata ta 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 ta
Oh my God. Allah so se vele da barra da capa. Zehila grate vedenias. Freda capra da bala con vela sa saila tapo. Rade capra da baba la tela capra da baba baboria. Capra da baba baboria da baba baba la tedia. Rade capra da baba bara de cababoria. Rada cas cabalate. Rada da 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 I thought you came for prayer cruise tonight. <laughs> they looked unto him and they were not ashamed. And their faces were radiant. It is not unto man that we have come tonight. It is unto the great one that sees in the circles of the earth. Oh my God. Jesus we come. Look beyond our weaknesses, look beyond our limitations. Shine your light upon us. O Macambra de Loca Veninta Braga Pelas, Avigandra Caico de Lantalas Covelateli, Bracambo Palisa, Saila Camba, Light of the Lagabo, Rite Brigababanda Cabrina Santelia, Rote Bebenis Cabelli Cabranda Baboria Cabalatua. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Oh, I'm sure that this is not your reality. I'm sure that you are underperforming tonight. Because I know what God has wrought through and in your life. We'll still stand to pray, but if you can, just take your seat for a while. Just take your seat for a while. As you are sitting, can you keep praying? under your breath and in case you are still behind i want to please ask that you just make your way to the front i want to begin by saluting my big brother tonight and mommy please can you salute evangelist esiri he's not here tonight but his spirit is here with us and thank you mommy for always releasing my brother always releasing him anytime we are in need of him is that the way you celebrate your spiritual parents? Come on now, can you celebrate them? All right, it is a rare privilege and I do not count it to be a light thing to be in your midst tonight. And I bring you greetings from the Remnant Christian Network, the Uyo Apostolic Center, and from my wife and my dearly beloved son. I will just share a burden from the word of God tonight that I believe that will steer our hearts to the place of prayer I'm sure we have been praying since Wednesday if I'm correct since Wednesday and you know the, 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 the reality of the righteous man or the just is that it goes from glory to glory the Bible says that the part of the righteous is like a shining light that shineth brighter and brighter unto a perfect day and so by now, the intensity of light that we should have absorbed, that flows from the glory of God, that flows from the throne of God, should have been visible in the way that we prayed. In the Garden of Gethsemane, when Jesus did pray, it did not just affect his spirit, it also did affect his soul, and it affected his body. And so the matter of priesthood, the matter of beholding, is not just a spiritual transaction. It also has implication in our soul. It also has implication in our body. And I trust God tonight that you would allow God, because there's a limitation in dealing with God in the realm of time. 
and the limitation as it has to do with man is his will and so before God could use a man you would need to make allowance through your will and even before Satan could possess a man or can possess a man you would also need to make allowance through your will are you with me so Paul says stuff like I will pray in my understanding and I will pray in the spirit so he made a deliberate decision to pray whereas there are some people that God pours the grace of prayer and supplication uh, but we also need to understand that prayer is a willful act are you with me you must make the decision in your will to pray and I used to tell my people that in the business of priesthood, in the business of prayer, you don't stop when you are tired because it is a lie from the devil. Paul said, we do not look at the things which are seen for the things that are seen are temporal, but we look at the things which are not seen for they have eternal value. That means the weakness that you feel in your body are temporal and in the eyes of God and in the realm of God, they don't have eternal value. Are you with me? So he says that our light and momentary affliction, it worketh in us for an eternal weight of, of glory. I'm saying all of this to say that you need to align your heart in the business of prayer. There is nobody that was born with the skill or with the act of knowing how to pray. People labored into God to achieve the level of priesthood that they transact with God. If you are still with me, can you say amen? amen. All right. So let's begin tonight. Leviticus chapter 8, 6 from verse 8. Lord, we thank you once again. Thank you for your dealings with us in the past few days. We ask that you intensify tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Leviticus chapter 6 and verse 8. You see, in God's dealing with his people in the Old Testament, there were certain laws that he gave to them so that they would understand how to interact and how to do business with him. I know you may have stumbled upon that scripture in the book of John chapter 4 and verse 24 that says that God is spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth but there is a challenge here we are finite and we are limited in understanding and so you must you must come into what paul calls in the book of romans chapter 8 the mind of the spirit for you to understand how to transact with god and so in view of that god gave the his people 613 laws that was commonly known as the Torah so that when they are transacting with him they will not transact by assumption are you with me you know many of us we deal with God based on assumption but God is spirit and if you must be accurate in dealing with him you must come into where he is moreover those laws that God gave to him or gave to them were 613 and they were divided into three. The first one are the moral laws. The second part are the ceremonial laws. And the third part are the civil laws. But my emphasis tonight are the ceremonial laws because the ceremonial laws actually describes or designs how man can or could worship God. Are you with me? So what we are about to read tonight is one of the ceremonial laws that the Lord gave to Moses and in my own understanding with scripture this law is the most potent law in all of the 613 laws and I want to prove it as we continue and the Lord said unto Moses verse 9 command Aaron and his sons now we want to read it again and this time I want you to put your name because the days and the era of Aaron is gone and we are now in your days and in your time. So when you see Aaron, I want you to put your name. And one of the things you need to understand as concerning this law is that this law is a transgenerational law. 
it does not only deal with a person it deals with the generation of the person are you with me so let's go again command victor and his sons he says this is the law of the bond offering and this is one of the laws that the lord gave to his people and he took time to define or to describe so he says that this is the law of the bond offering and then there is a colon the colon suggests the details of the law of the bond offering it is the bond offering or it is called the bond offering because can you say because now this is the description or this is the definition of the law of the bond offering and there are about six components of this law that is called the law of the bond offering and my intention tonight is to cast a burden maybe one or two of them and then we labor in prayer in view of the burdens the lord has successfully casted upon our hearts are you with me so this is the reason why this law is called the law of the bond offering it is called the law of the bond offering because of the burning upon the altar that is the first reason why it is called the law of the bond offering are you with me because of words the burning that is where upon the altar you see in the old testament god spoke to us in types and in shadows he spoke to us in idioms and in metaphors and many times in simile are you here so whereas i know you have a little bit of understanding with this scripture i want to come in from the view that you are not used to you see the burning there is a metaphor of how and where you explained your life are you with me so the bible will say in the book of romans chapter one that men they burned with lust so they were burning however the content of their burning or the substance of their burning was with what was with lust you need to understand that there is a reason why this law it was not for want of accurate naming or nomenclature that this law is called the law of the bond offering it is first called the law of the bond offering because the burning will be where upon the altar i hope you know that the burning reality of a man is a many what i mean by that is that you could live your life on the altar of on, on the laps of a harlot are you with me you can also live your life pursuing money you can live your life pursuing a first class you can live your life deciding to pursue jesus but if you are going to observe the law of the bond offering you must understand that the way you live your life should be weird on the altar do you do you follow me now yes that the way you spend your life the way you spend your energy should be on the altar the reason why this law is called the law of the bond offering is because the burning the expending of life the expending of energy is going to be on the altar and somebody would ask a question why the altar why has God limited the way we live our life? Why has God decided to regulate the way we spend our energy? The Bible says in the book of Genesis chapter 2 and verse 15 that God put Adam in the garden to dress and to keep it. To dress and to keep it. Give me Genesis chapter 2 and verse 15. And the Lord God took man and put him in the garden of Eden to what? Help me tonight to dress and to keep it. Now if you click on your Greek lexicon on the word dress, there is one possible synonym that you will see and it's called priesthood. Are you with me? And if you click on the word keep, there is one possible synonym that you will see. And it's the word guardianship. 
So after the creation of man, the first thing that God did with Adam was not to give him a wife. Are you with me? After the creation of man, the first thing that God did with man is not to give him a job. The first thing that God did with man was that he possessed him with the ability of priesthood. Are you here? The reason why God possessed man with the ability of priesthood Paul tells us in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 6. He says, it is not as though we are sufficient of ourselves to think anything by ourselves. Verse 6 says that our sufficiency is of God. 2 Corinthians 3 verse 6. So man was created with an insufficiency. Give me verse 5. Verse 5. Verse 5. I think it began from verse 4. Oh. Media, help me, help me, help me, help me. I, I need to. Is it verse 3 now? Uh, give me verse 7. I think it's verse 7 that I'm looking for. Uh, somebody help me. Verse 5. I think we had seen verse 5 before. Yes, so how, how come we missed it? I say verse 5 and 6. It says, not that we are sufficient of ourselves. So no matter how strong you think you are in the flesh, every one of us was created with an insufficiency. And Paul tells us that that insufficiency can only be filled by God. He says, but our sufficiency derives from where? From God. So every one of us that is seated here, looking at me tonight, there, there is an insufficiency that is captured in your vessel. And that was why God put man in the garden so that he would dress and, and keep it. That was why in the cool of the day, the voice of the Lord will come calling in the garden, Adam, Adam, where art thou? And because of that insufficiency, the way you live your life for it to make sense would have to be on the altar of priesthood. That was why in the book of Luke chapter 18 and verse 1, Jesus tells us that men ought always to pray and not to faint. What that means is that if you leave the burning on the altar and begin to burn on other things, you are likely to what? To faint. That men ought always to pray and not to faint. So if you are one that is being compelled to pray or you are one that is being compelled to practice priesthood, it means that you have not learned how to burn accurately. Are you here? So the Bible also tells us concerning Abraham in the book of Genesis chapter 2 and verse 8. He was our patriarch in faith, so he set a model for us. That he built altars and he pitched tents. You know what we do in our day and in our time? We build tents and then we pitch altars. But if you are going to burn accurately, the Bible says that the burning should be where? <laughs> it's not something you use your spare time to prosecute. It is something that you live by because of the insufficiency that God has given to man. If you are still here, can you say amen? amen? You must not forget the first component of the law of the burnt offering. And what is it, dear friends? The burning should be, this is why we have gathered this weekend. So that we would burn not by our selfish ambition, not by our lustful appetite, but to burn where? On the altar. And beyond this meeting, you should see it as a way of life. That your burning should not, your burning on the altar should not be when you feel like. Remember from where we began from, it was a command. He said, command. It was not a suggestion that God was giving to you. It was a command and the laws of God are perfect. 
Are you with me? The burning should be on the altar. If you don't have this understanding, you will still have miscarriage with destiny because you think you can do anything and get away with it. First Kings chapter 18. <laughs> Let's see that scripture. The Bible told us about Ahab and about Elijah. I pray I'll be able to find it. First Kings chapter 18 and verse 42. So Ahab went up to eat and you are not here. You are not here. You are not here. Two people went up for two different purposes. Two people went up. And many times when you hear high places in scripture, high places speaks of altars. Are you with me? Ah. But Ahab went up. And his reason for going up was to go and eat and... Huh. But another man went up. He knew how to burn accurately. The Bible says, but Elijah, he went up to the top of Carmel. And there he cast himself upon the earth. And he put his face between his knees. You see, when you say, before God whom I stand, you don't know how to burn. This is why you can claim it by words of mouth. And then demons will still infiltrate your ranks. He went up and he cast himself. This is how to live. And this is how to practice priesthood. Elijah went up. Ahab went up. <laughs> but one knew how to go up by the altars. He cast his, his face down. If we continue this reading, you will see that he continued it for seven times. There was no feedback. Are you with me? And he kept on praying. And you know the result in the book of James chapter 5 verse 17. The Bible says that Elijah was a man of like passion. Just like you and I. There was something that made him different with you. You just know how to live a good life. You eat, you drink. But Elijah knew how to cast himself down. He went to the, there was a location in the spirit. It was the top of Carmel. He went there and for many days, oh, please stay on my scripture, First Kings chapter 18, verse 42. He cast himself upon the earth. And verse 18 of that James chapter 5 said he prayed again. You see, first James chapter 5, verse 17, I read it from one scripture. And that verse said, with prayer, Elijah prayed. You are not with me. He said, with prayer. That means this was how he was living his life. He was living by prayer. The way you breathe prayer, that was how, the way you breathe oxygen, that was how Elijah breathed prayer. The first component of the law of the burnt offering is that the burning should be where? On the altar. And if you live apart from the altar, I assure you by God that you will live a life of perpetual casualty. It does not matter who gave birth to you, whether or not you were given birth with a silver spoon, whether or not you graduated with first class, whether or not you were advantaged on all sides in this mortal realm, you will always be disadvantaged when the day of adversity comes. I hope you know that there is a day that is called the evil day. The Bible says that if your strength fails in the day of adversity, then truly your strength is small. What increases the ranks, the strength of a man is that a man knows how to burn accurately on the altar many of us will learn prayer not because we wanted to show the world we wanted to pray we knew that that was the only way to live many of us even in this hall you were compelled to pray you were compelled to come for this meeting and even while you are in this hall you still don't see a need to pray and after three months, you will come to mama and say, I used to see one creator in my dream. Excuse me, why won't you see that creator? You are living apart from your reality. You will keep having heartbreak with the things that surround this mortal realm because you don't know how to accurately burn. The burning should be upon the altar. Upon the altar. Upon the altar. Any other way that you burn, 
is strange in the sight of God. The burning should be upon the altar. Elijah went up and he casted his face down. Oh, can we pray for one minute? Just where you are seated, your voice may likely not be heard, but can you burn a little? Burn a little, stir up something, even though it's flames of fire. Can you burn a little? Elijah casted his face down. I heard you came for prayer cruise. Can you cruise a little in the place of prayer? Saporia tapapu, saita paperia capentas, rai capon de skivalaita penis, racantoli saivalina tolia, rotemon san sale capata, racampos cavelita, rai toveletina sandra cambelisco velata, rete pampo cape papa, zina cambe laica molatelia, ambo masina campaneta. Can you cast everything you came with down? O mante. La son se belica, rai combe san de veleco, rai pampe campo, zina cabranda scadele tambra cabalatua, ratamamos en la cambrante basona, recapapa, 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 aito de la cambra de sosai la camo, rede prena babalato menaca. Be careful for nothing, but in all things through prayers and supplications. Coupled with thanksgiving, let your request accumulate. Cool, yeah. Upon the sight, ruakatelia, apakatoy, tautina kapa, akuti kapo, yakateli sight the dua rakapapa, rakapapa, atondi atapapa, lokaskiva iantoli akapai, latampe sight lavata, roteka, roteka, atori kapa, atoi tapaka, lata. I cast myself down at the Diakapata Patoria at the Makatetika Saita Pata. The Sami says, I cried unto the Lord. Ambole kapaila le kambara tedia. I cry, I cry. A leto masaya, a leto makapuria. Antelia kapra la kunde tedia. Rote tafina kai. Luate, luate. Atoria ka ha pa 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 ha pa pa te la kura te la breda bala tedia. Rata vafati na kambara tabala tua. In view of the above, cry to God. I will not be like the one that goes up to eat and to drink. I cast myself down at your feet. I surrender my weaknesses and limitations. I come Oh my God, Zedikapo de Kina Kavateni, I come Pratapapo de Kaskavalatua. I will be like the patriarch Abraham, I will build altars such that when my seed unborn they come into it they will know that a man existed with God a man walked with God Ame Mosai la Kambra Tele Sosai Rede Kambra Dabalai Sosa Dabante Raka Branta Balato Di Kabranda Saita Rege Bebe Nanto Li Kabranta Balato Ya Kabed Ya Kambra Tabalai Tabaratua Ay Kabranta Babakoria Abrada Kababataya Abata Kamba Babata Tamba Dada Tamba Dada Taya Rade Sate Bina Abrina Sate Kapo Now listen Put back my scripture Leviticus chapter 6 verse 9 We will pray, we will pray, we will pray Let me show you the second one Because of time Remember that I said that the, the first reason why it is called The law of the burnt offering It's because of the burning wear 
the burning is upon the altar. If it is not upon the altar, then it fails the test of becoming the law of the burnt offering. The second reason why it is called the law of the burnt offering is that the burning that is upon the altar must burn all night unto the morning. If you don't understand this power of importunity, you can never get accurate results in all your life. Even the gospel that we have received, are you with me? You can only know the potency of the righteousness of God if you understand the spirit of importunity. So the Bible says that the righteousness of God is revealed from faith to faith. That means, you see, when you see a young believer trying to deal with masturbation, trying to deal with the issues around his life, and for two years he gives up, he will not understand the righteousness of God. And moreover, in all of scriptures, the only time that the righteousness of God is revealed is in the gospel of Christ. Are you with me? But the, only, the believer that understands the dimension of the gospel of Christ is the believer that understands understands the importunity of faith so the righteousness of God is revealed from faith to faith that is why in verse 19 the Bible tells us that the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth of God's word in unrighteousness that means these guys they have heard the truth they have labored with the truth but at a point they gave up their faith you are not with me Stay with me. Okay, if you don't understand the concept of faith, I know you know the book of Luke chapter 18. I hope you know the context of that book is not actually the context of prayer alone. It is also the context of importunity in prayer. So Jesus said in the book of Luke chapter 18 and verse 8, he says, if the Son of Man comes, shall he find faith? So some people are burning on the altar, but they don't know the consistency in burning. Are you with me? They only burn when things are good and when things are bad, they retire. So the second component of the law of the burnt offering is that the fire burns all nights unto the morning. Job said in the book of Job chapter 14, I think in verse 14, he says, if a man dies, shall he live again? He says, all the days of my appointed time, will I wait for my change to come? God is not man. He doesn't walk by your timing. Are you with me? <laughs> but there's something that is also worthy of note in this second component. You will notice that the burning that is upon the altar does not burn from morning to night. It burns all night. Are, are, you, are you here? No, you have not noticed it. There are some things that are not just misrepresentation of time and space or misrepresentation of grammar. So the Bible tells us that this fire that is burning on the altar should be all night. Can you say it together? All night. What that means is that the thing or the circumstance that would drive you to the burning on the altar are usually bad circumstances. So the Bible says in the book of Psalm chapter 30 and verse 3 that weeping endures. How many of you have noticed that the time you began to seek Jesus, it was usually bad times of your life? Oh, 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 oh. There are no people here. If we want to run an assessment here, I'm sure that almost everyone here that began to cry out the Bible says that the people that were in darkness, Isaiah chapter 9, verse 2 and 3, that the people that were in darkness, the reason why they began to cry for light was because they were in darkness. So what leads people to priesthood many times is because of darkness, because of the night season. Are you with me? There is a night season in the life of every man. 
and actually the night season is designed for you to understand your insufficiency remember that i told you that there is an insufficiency that is domiciled in every man you will not understand that insufficiency until you come to the night season of your life a young man saw a video clip of mine a few days ago and told me how that he has been ravaged with masturbation with all kind of things and he's a 50 year student in the university and he can't go back to the university because they are looking for him to kill him that's an example of the night season of a man's life so i asked him so if jesus wants to come and save you would you accept him he says with the whole of my heart so we began to teach him how to pray i couldn't handle some of those matters and i had to hand over to daddy are you with me that the reason why many people begin to burn upon the altar is because of the night season however what happens to the average believer is that at the expiration of the night season we lose the potency of our priesthood so many people come to church because they have no job because they have no husband because they have no wives because things are not going well for them and in the matter oh by tomorrow i will show you that when you begin to do business with god accurately on the altar there are products are you with me there are certain products for one who does business so we can look at your life and know whether or not you are doing business accurately with god and one of those products are ashes tomorrow i will show you what ashes are they are metaphoric expressions it burns all night and i'm saying to someone here that i don't know the condition of your night time but as we begin to pray oh, this meeting is ending with a miracle service <laughs> oh my god but beyond the night god's intention is that you also born in the morning time the bible says that joy comes in the morning so the consistency in burning is not only when god gives you an f you know god can ensure that the pride in your heart is level and that business that you are bragging with, he will allow it to collapse. Are you with me? So that you will come to him. And now that you have come to him, he teaches you how to fight. I'm saying that after fighting and recovering all that you have lost, Isaiah says that for your shame, you will receive double honor. After receiving double honor for all that you have lost, you don't retire from priesthood because this is the way man was originally designed to live i hope you know that in in the garden of Eden, adam lost nothing yet he was still practicing priesthood so i'm saying to someone here that prayer is not a way out of poverty prayer is basically the believer's way of you are not with me so much so that whether you have money I was sharing the testimony of my family when Reverend came to dedicate my baby. We were married. After a few months, she had a miscarriage. Six months into the pregnancy. And in those six months, I was on a 60-day corporate prayer and fasting. For one month, I was going from the hospital to the church i did not break my commitment to god not because i liked church service as a priest but because i understood that the way to live are you with me that the way to live and to burn accurately is where on the altar and as though that was not enough it happened the second time and this time i was on a 30-day prayer watch we just dedicated our first baby last week and we are currently on an 18-day prayer watch every day every 
year, we pray at least 200 days. How many days are there in a year? So we divide it more than half. Because if you must burn and burn accurately, you must burn where? You must burn on the altar. And you don't burn when things are going well alone or when things are going bad alone. The bad times are a good time to begin burning, but you must burn out beyond the night season. It burns all night unto the morning. Are you with me? It burns. You must tell yourself. You see, the matter of beholding, Oh, we can't talk about it today. Maybe by tomorrow. The scripture tells us that there are some people that they see and they forget what they have seen. They are like the people that God blesses with money today. And when we tell them come to church, the reason why they are not coming to church is because of the money God has given to them. They have been praying for a child after 10 years. The reason why they are not coming to church, they will tell you I'm busy babysitting. So you see, the problem is, you see, the first thing I try to define is that the beholding is not in isolation. Are you with me? That the beholding is with a substance. And the beholding should be on the altar. Are you with me? The beholding should be on the altar. And then the beholding has no end as long as we are in time. The consistency must be all night. You see, that all night means every expression, every shade of darkness. Whether it's poverty, <laughs> you can call it by name, all night. Can you say all night? All night. Or whatever the night is, all night. And I assure you that there is a morning. There is a morning. I say there is a morning. <laughs> I say there is a morning. It burns all night unto the morning. You don't stop when the night time has come. You need to understand that you must burn beyond. I, I used to tell myself that the money that God gives to me, the things that God gives to me, may it not be the reason why I stop priesthood. It is better that God takes me early. Are you with me? Than for me to use the ashes. You will see that there, there was a time the Lord told the priest that, you see, that the ashes should not be in the place of burning. He said that the ashes should be beside. You are not with me. That the things that are as a product of my priesthood should not be the reason why I will stop burning on the altar. We need to pray because I'm feeling God's presence here. There are people that God wants to lead a fire on their inside. You have been burning and you have been burning expending your energies on the things that are not God. When God put Adam in the garden, the primary purpose for that was priesthood. Oh my God. There's someone around this place. I see you, you are a man. You have lost, your, you used to have little fire. You have lost that fire. But in the next five minutes, God wants to lit that fire again. Our Father and the Lord will say, you don't need to shout amen for it to come to pass. If it is God that said it, he will do it. I want us to pray for one minute. I don't want you to shout. I came tonight to possess you with the spirit of accurate burning. You can pray for 10 hours and yet you don't burn on the altar. Your mind is somewhere strange. Your body is here and your lips are moving. Can we pray? Just pray in tongues. Pray in tongues. Without words of mortal understanding, the Lord will lit a fire that the burning should be on the altar. The burning. Just pray in the spirit where you are. 
Brantas Copelaita, Bracome Masolatelia, Ratemas Cavelia, Tambra Capolantele Sassali. The Lord will keep increasing your flame, increasing your flame, increasing your flame, increasing your flame until the fire is lit. Samalatomena Kamba, Sandela Cabra de Bobola, Sibra de Coma Masaila Temo. Oh my God, lift up your voice now. Let me hear you cry to Jesus. Alan Toscavelli, Tambra Capos Cavellia Taboria, Zada Baratelia Scapa Balanta Scavella Telia, Abranta Babola Cabalanto Scadella Tabranda Cababoriata. I will burn out beyond my night season. Satabala Cambra Tello Satelia Manta Branda Cabaporia Sandra Cadela Talaga Riata Branda Cabalantos Cavena Babalate Rate Vele Gabranta Baporia Tabagabalatabo Abrina Sate Bagabarantas Cavena Balatua Ambella Cabolate Vele Cabatua Ebella Combre da Balaiso Salateria Ragababalanta Braga Babalatele Gabrada Bori Ambe Balatula Gabe Lai so sinaka rababoria taba balante abranda balate ne kaska vele taba poria lakamba bonda sante le gabarate abre kaba basha taba late brina kaba pa alessa sante makabate ababora te la gabranda balatoa Africa peda sosa vele taya the prayer of the righteous man it make a tremendous power available come on now can I hear your voice can I hear your voice? A bella sosa belle cabranta, a le campo radina saita braga babala tua, ria cabellato braga bebalato, radica branta babalata baratia, a branta bababala te de cabranta bababoria, a racabolaita babadia, racabaporia cababalatia, a branta badaca barate cascabalate, a brita cababato, ai cabababato, ai cabata. Brada Kabataya, a Peda Saya, a Peda Saya, a Peda Saya, a Brata Batapatopia, a Brata Batapote, a tea couple, 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 a tea If you are sitting, can you stand on your feet? I want you to hold four persons in a circle. From my ankle to my feet, from my feet to my waist, from my waist to my shoulders, till the spirit overwhelms. From my ankles to my knees, from my knees to my waist, from my waist to my shoulders, till the spirit overwhelms. From my ankle to my knees, oh, 
Put yourselves in a second. Five heart. Can we pray together now? And show you our prayer. Some people are not praying behind. Come on now, lift up your balls. Papa, 
ตังประทิกาพระรัตเทพพระธรรมพระโพธิปัตเทโตรัตเทขพระเทพให้ขับเทียกะเทียกะพระพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระรัตเทขพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเทพเทียกะพระพระธรรมพระเ
an offering of prayer and supplication. But in addition, he came with strong tears and groanings. Because he knew that the one to him he's approaching is able to save him from death. I want you to look beyond the way you are feeling, dear friends. Can you add a sacrifice to that offering of prayer? If it is tears, that will be an expression of your prayers tonight. You don't literally need to shout. You don't literally need to make it charismatic. But as long as your altar is potent enough to bring a sacrifice and an offering, the Bible said concerning Jesus, who in the days of his flesh, when he had offered, there was an offering that he brought. Another mess. Another man. <laughs> Sister, where is your offering? Where is your sacrifice? <laughs> to save you from trusting man. Look away from what man can give to you. Take a posture. Find God for yourself. I see that a 
Second Kings chapter 13, verse 14. Because of our time, let's get to verse 19. Verse 19. I'm laboring tonight to bring you into where we can pray together. And the man of God was wroth with him. The man of God was angry. Thou shouldest have smitten five or six times then hadest thou smiting Syria till thou hast consumed it whereas now thou shalt smite Syria but thrice this scripture speaks of consistency I know you are praying huh. you see but one of the potency of the law of the bond offering is that you have the ability not to wear off when you are tired. I, I don't want you to pray by your flesh. I will feel you in the spirit. I will feel you. There will be a connection. Like the baby in the womb of Mary and the baby in the womb of Elizabeth. It's not a physical connection. If you come into the place where you are doing business accurately, there is a corporate fellowship. There is a sharing of grace such that if I meet you in the spirit, I will know. There is a gift and an offering that the one that burns on the altar must bring and that gift must be potent enough such that the gift must look like the sacrifice. Your gift must not, must not be different from your sacrifice. So your lips... The Bible says they honor me with their lips and their hearts. They honor me with their offering and their sacrifice is far. Huh. This is where the true beholding is. The beholding is not in the, the many preaching. The, the beholding is not in the many verbal utterance. There is an utterance that comes from your heart. And there is a God. Men look at the outward appearance. But God, he looks at your heart. He sees beyond the utterance that you make. It is to Jesus that we have come. Maybe you had high expectation for man tonight. <laughs> Jesus knows how to disappoint the devices of the flesh. Oh my God. If I were you, I would find Jesus. Find him until I see him. Find him until I see him. The burning shouldn't be showmanship. It should be on the altar. Find your altar. There is an altar that is custom made for you. Abraham built his own. Come on, can you build your own, your own altar? If your altar speaks, it will be loud enough for the corporate house to feel and to come into the economy. If I were you, I would quit looking around and build a potent altar for Jesus who in the days of his flesh he made an offering of prayers he made an offering of supplication with strong tears and crying unto him that is able to save him from death you are still praying like proud people you have other means we 
With open faces, we behold him. We behold him, we behold him. I confess it like a very society. Rate mandra kabela isonze la kambra. Rade kabalantos kipida balatele gabaratua. Ya kabela sonsa la tebri gabalanta. Rakambra tababoria tala gabarata. Abranda balatembra kabalata baraka baboria. Akabaka baka 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 baka. Akababa baba lata baka baka. Abranda baka baka lata ba. Abarata balanta abranda balata. Agrata baba balaka babo. Akaba santa baka. Alata Baratelia, Akabrata Bacabalata, Akababa Baboria, Akabarata Bracabalata, I Cabalet Massa, I Cabalet Water Baracata, the Acatel Isosa, Acabatamba, 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 Ratia da Satabrica Balate. Sate balaka barate kababoria, alete bere kabranta balaka, yakas kabalata bra, akabarate dia. Can you smite again? Ate dia kabranta bakoria, aradesa ya, akuria tabapo, ratia sata bakabalatua. Another mess, another mess. Apor Soti Capedi Cababedesa Radica Brata Babedi Radica Brada Balate de Cababo Zadica Brata Badaka Badataba, a Cabrata Badaka Baba Radica Babalata Brata Balaka Badabarata, a Brata Balata Branta Balaka, a Radaka Branta Badaka Badata, a Padata Baraka Branta Badaka, a Beda Santa Bada, a Padanka Badata Manta, a Bananta Banaka Bananta, a Banaka Badata Manata, a Bananta Bada. Akabananta, akabanata branta bakababa, akabanada banata bakaba, akabanata bakaba lata banata, akabanada banata bakaba, abranta bakaba poria. Anoda mes, anoda mes, ayish, anoda mes, anoda mes. Sweta baboria, hati da kabe da ti baborita, leke be de di kabarate ba de kababorete, hati di kabababa ba da ta barate ba da tua, redi kabababi da kabo, redi kabababa da te di kabababo, leti da kabarato di, rudi ya sate, rudi kababeri, rada kababasa, hai kabatua, luate u, luate u, ya sate di kabasa u. For men not always to pray. Apola sai, sete kabrata badato, poria tata, poria tata, poria tata, poria de kasa, ruakate, ruakasata, poko toto, rade kabra baba masa, rade kabrata badata badata, kabrata badaka baka baka badata, rada baba 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 pora baba badata, raka baba badata badata baka baba. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ooh. The energy is becoming stronger. It's becoming stronger. And Lord, the one to whom you have separated for yourself, show us a sign and lit your fire. Lit your fire. Lit your fire. Let it burn stronger. Let it burn stronger. For there is a spirit in man. And the inspiration of the Almighty. It bringeth understanding. Let the understanding come stronger. Let the fire come stronger. Let the potency of the spirit come stronger. 
Sehila gavadina gabarane na kombe. Zahi grate volaita manga bariata. Ruatela skove lambrata mokabe. Zahila vratelo sanzala kaila. Roka dedi atula gabranta. Elegas kabeni gabranta bamolate. Habina gabranta mon sanzala gabe. Ha Ole kaba si sahadi Eleva vala de momo Saila tema moradina Sabrina ka se sabela mana Abrana come masola dina mana Kaporina skaveli tabrona kate It's coming stronger it's coming stronger you will feel it in your spirits that there is a refreshing that comes from the law a refreshing that comes from the law online offline you will feel it stronger that there is a refreshing that comes from the law a refreshing that comes from the law it's as though a fire is lit in your spirits a refreshing that comes from the law the power of prayer the energy of the spirits the spirit of grace the spirit of supplication it is poured out mightily by the hand of the spirits the fire that burns on the altar it leads your altar now sister it leads your altar now brother it leads your altar now come on let it express itself Hame coli a te kevelina rate combre da capea zakito veriata baranto abranda caberia and the Lord is saying tonight only if you will let me only if you will let me I will do a good work a great work in and through you for it is God that worketh in you both to will and to do of his good pleasure come on now there is an ignition he ignites a fire in your spirits. He ignites a fire in your hearts. Oh. How would you for Accra? I don't know why this song is rising in my heart. Honest did something for Accra. There is an exchange going on. The things that you have been born in with that is not God, the Lord is exchanging it already. If there's a choir member, can you help me lift that song? Honest, ah. change it something. Just keep playing that song. Hallelujah. There is an exchange going on already. There is an exchange. There is a sister. I saw the Lord taking away something that looks like a lump, a lump, a lump, and is lighting a fire inside of you. That sister is around here. He's taking away something that looks like a lump, and he's putting an energy of the spirits. Rati da bodi kapapuri atatata Rakati na saita branta kapunate Rata babalaita branta kapalato Sedika branta balante Rika branta balante as much as possible, I want to lay hand on every sister. Zadina Kambra Teba Poria Sanatava Hakabalanta Branda Kabalanta Braga Balate Zadiga Branta Balata. The one that you want to exchange. Oh, me, 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 Sayanto Sesalaka Rua Teba Porias. There is fire here. There is fire. There's more fire here. Let it come stronger. Let it come stronger. Let it come stronger. Let it come stronger. Salatolia Sababarias. Oh, there's somebody I'm looking for. Can you put your hands on her womb? There is something burning here. 
There's something burning. Something burning. Something burning. Something burning. Something burning. Oh, you cannot resist it. <laughs> the gates of heaven are open. The gates of heaven are open. Can you cry out? Your altar has a voice. Your altar has a voice. Your altar has a voice. The Bible says that the blood from the ground it began to cry out. Your altar is not dumb, it has a voice. God quieting your altar. My altar will burn. Ale kombre kapa denesa, redi kabra da ba bodi kaba ba tiya, radi kabra da ba ba tede kaba ba, ba tede kaba da da tiya, radi kabra da ba da kaba da toa, raturi ya da da, kate kabre da kaba ba ba sa, ai kaba toa 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 toa. to me the angel told the woman oh my god as I said the angel my eyes opened and I saw four angels wherever you are lift up your two hands blessed is she that believeth for there shall be a performance of all that the Lord has promised you as your altar speaks the Bible said that the ladder Oh my God, I'm still looking for that brother here. Yes, yes. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Even the Holy Ghost has entered into the congregation. He has entered into the congregation. From my right to my left, today we don't have time. Sahila Gavenantos Gaviliata, Brape Polia Gabarata Sazalate, Sahila Grate Valino Brena Balantelaga. There is a teenage girl here. The Holy Ghost have come for you. The hand of the Lord, by the count of three, will rest upon you. There is a strange ordination of intercession that is upon your life as you pray. Something opened up in your spirits. There's also someone online here that is implicated by this prophecy. So I cherish the old rugged cross. <laughs> Lord, find that one. Find that one. When you find her, bring her to me. Ale Kelly is so severe. Ale Kelly, Kelly, you know, you are not doing this. Braka Kelly, you are so severe, you are not doing this. Braka Kelly, you are so severe, you are not doing this. Braka Kelly, you are so severe, you are not doing this. Listen to me. It's not possible. God's servant. It's not possible that a man burns on the altar. Without a divine dividends, there must be a result. The challenge is that the average believer, we are a, a praying company without results because we don't know how to burn accurately. Jesus taught us how to burn. 
He said he offered up. The Bible says Elijah went up to the Mount of Carmel. He offered up prayers and supplications. His heart was involved. If your heart is involved in the process, it doesn't take a long while. Jesus will make an appearance. He made offerings of prayer through groanings and strong tears. Jesus did not just cry. The tears were classified as strong tears. <laughs> Bro, you are not disadvantaged. You are not quiet in nature. The hand of the Lord will come mightily upon you. So I just. Oh. 